One of the reasons I like to start with the skulls is then you can start thinking about, like, your actual face and starting to know where things go and belong. The eyeballs fit just a little bit smaller than the eye sockets. They fit inside the eye socket. And the nostrils are about here. Because this is a little head and a little tiny nose. And then you have this dip in the lip. And this is actually a pretty great reason since you started with the skull to have the mouth open. For that to happen, you'd have some muscles pulling back here, flexing, right? Big floppy ears. And then you have a little bit of like, Now your neck on a child is a little thinner. It's more like not quite half the size of the head, not quite two thirds. Shoulders are smaller. All right, so shoulders about mm, not quite three times the size of the head, the way a older person would look at, maybe like twice the size of the head. The neck is, uh, is probably proportionately a little thicker than the shoulders. So the shoulders are really small, the neck is a little small. Teeth are smaller, right? Now this this is a scary drawing, right? Like this isn't how you want the finished work to look. One of the nice ways to work with the uh, the yellow is you can obscure the uh, working lines you did before by just filling in with some of the yellow. That should be a little less scary. Not too much. Think about what parts are coming closer to you and what parts are going farther away. The darker they are, the farther away they are. The lighter they are, the closer they are. And then, now that you've done that, put the rest of the face on. So you're not going to see all of the eyes. Most of the eye is covered up, and that's also what keeps the eyeballs from falling outside of the head. You have some eyebrows on, right? The nose. This is a really big smile. Like this is about as much as you can smile. So you're gonna have a really stretched face where the chin's skin is pulled tight on the chin. Some cheeks. Cheeks are really working to make this smile. Um, put whatever kind of hair you want on. The hair kind of lifts the head up a bit. There's a lot more hair than you're expecting, probably. And there's the lip. And again, if I want to get rid of some of those red lines, I can shade them in. <laughs> Try and like make the face of the person who's smiling when you're working on it. And then if you have some paint at home, Markers, my son calls them markers, is that the inks will bleed through them and kind of mix. So here I am making child's face. Is he still scary? I hope not. No. 
Oh, I'm scared. You're scared of this guy. It's all you. Okay, so there. Oh, all right. So here's something. I might want to tidy up these teeth a bit because I've kind of given some yellow teeth. Maybe it's right after Halloween. Maybe not so. Very happy young man. 